here to show you videos of pregnant women. I'm here to teach you the right thing to do to get you through your pregnancy safely. This is the list of the things that we will cover in this video. You will know the facts you never knew about pregnancy, the food that may be harmful to your health and that of your baby, and what are the best foods to eat, also the summary of part two video. By the end of this presentation, you will have your mouth wide open. I'm about to let you in on a secret that no book or pregnancy magazine will teach you, and you can thank me later, of course. Pregnant women naturally have a depressed cell-mediated immune system. Many think that this occurs so that the mother's immune system will not reject the fetus. In addition, the systems of fetuses and newborns are very immature. They are extremely susceptible to intracellular pathogens. Pregnant women are about 20 times more likely than other healthy adults to contract listeriosis. About one-third of listeriosis cases happen during pregnancy. For people that doesn't know what listeriosis means, it's caused by eating food contaminated by the bacteria Listeriomenocytogenesis. This can be a very serious disease which can cause nausea, diarrhea, and etc. In the U.S., an estimated of 1,650 persons become seriously ill with listeriosis each year. Of this, 425 died in the state of Illinois. Approximately 20 cases are reported annually, and 25% of those cases die from this disease. Some foods are best avoided during pregnancy because of what they contain or the way that they are cooked. Working out what you are allowed to eat and what you should steer clear of can be very confusing, but the information and advice will help you to choose. For example, spiced cider or wine. Many spiced ciders contain alcohol. Spiced wine is also a commonly served drink around the holidays. If you are not sure if there is alcohol in what's being served to you, always ask. Also, avoid those drinks that might contain wine, beer, or liquor. There is no need to mention that we don't need alcohol. Rum balls and chocolate. Rum ball may be delicious, but they are not a good idea during pregnancy. Unfortunately, most rum balls actually do contain some alcohol. If you are craving chocolate, reach for something that doesn't contain it. It's great to indulge a little bit, but when it comes to chocolate, just also be aware that chocolate contains caffeine and pregnant women shouldn't consume more than 300 milligrams of caffeine per day. Eggnog. It's okay to enjoy an eggnog latte as long as you stick with less than 300 milligrams of caffeine per day, but make sure to avoid the eggnog with brandy or other alcohol in it. Pasteurized eggnog can be a delicious treat, but alcohol, again, should be avoided. Soft cheeses such as panela, cortesia, queso fresco, blue vein cheeses, brie, feta, and camembert. Cam These soft cheeses can contain the bacteria Listeria minocytogenes. As I said before, this bacteria can cause listeriosis, an infection that can increase the risk of miscarriage, stillbirth, uterine infection, premature labor, and death in the newborn. To be safe, avoid eating soft cheeses during pregnancy unless they are part of a dish that has been cooked, such as a casserole. Lunch meats, such as hot dogs and luncheon meats, are also places Listeria minocytogenes bacteria likes to hang out. Make sure to reheat them or cook them until they are steaming hot. Pate. Refrigerated pates or meat spreads can also cause listeriosis, so it's best to avoid them during pregnancy. If you're craving a spread, why not try peanut butter, almond butter, or pasteurized cream cheese? Imported candies. Lead has been found in some consumer candies imported from Mexico. It has also been found in the wrappers of some imported candies. To be safe, stick to non-imported candies this holiday season or any time of the year. High levels of lead during pregnancy can cause learning impairment, low birth weight, premature delivery, and miscarriage. Tuna. For all of you tuna lovers, just remember the recommendation for fish consumption during pregnancy is no more than 12 ounces of fish per week since it contains methylmercury. Large predator fish such as tuna, shark, swordfish, towelfish, and king mackerel are more likely to contain higher amounts of methylmercury. High levels of methylmercury can lead to birth defects such as cerebral palsy, mental retardation, and blindness. Smoked seafood. Remember that pesky bacteria Listeria monocytogenes that makes those delicious soft cheeses off limits? It turns out it can live in smoked seafood as well. Don't eat refrigerated smoked fish unless they are ingredients in a dish that has been cooked. 
Examples of refrigerated smoked seafood include salmon, trout, whitefish, cod, tuna, and mackerel, which are most often labeled as Nova style, lox, kippered, smoked, or jerkied. Undercooked turkey and ham. Food poisoning can affect everyone, including pregnant women. Make sure meat is cooked at the correct temperature for the correct amount of time. Using those meat thermometers will help you do this trick. If you aren't cooking the meat yourself, make sure you check with your chef to ensure it's cooked all the way through. Okay, that is it for part one video, so let's see you on the part two. But before we go into it, let's take a brief look into what we will cover in part two video. Will pregnancy affect my weight? What are the best food combinations for me now that I am pregnant? Why do I feel so tired when I'm pregnant? What are the supplements I don't need? What are the supplements I do need? Remember that we are not asking you not to do what your doctor says, but we are here to give you an insight based on our many years of knowledge with major pregnancy issues. Do you know the food you eat affects your labor? How do I get back into shape? This is where most women get it all wrong. You have to check your weight while you're pregnant. It is easier than fighting the weight loss after the pregnancy. You keep in shape without going on a diet, and that is a secret we will uncover in the next video. How do I avoid excess weight while pregnant? And how do I control my cravings? I will let you in on my three-step pregnancy principle, which helped me and my baby when I was pregnant. Total nutrition for first, second, and third trimester. And I will give you a free after-delivery guide, which will have a space for you to take your own notes of your experiences throughout your pregnancy. How to combat delivery issues. Total fitness program for your first, second, and third trimester. In-house workout program after delivery access to see my beautiful baby and me, and access to have a consultation with me. So let's click on the, on the link in the description box below, and I'll see you in the next video.